Welcome to today's, today's meeting. So today, from our last slide, so we talk about inducement and all. So today we will be talking about structure and inducement together. So and how we do use what we call time frame difference. So now we have different time frame. We have different time frame. So we have what we call time frame difference. So in this our time frame difference, we have different time frame. So we have uh, from monthly, monthly time frame, we have our weekly, weekly time frame, our weekly TF best time frame, monthly TF time frame. We have our our daily, our daily time frame. We have our H4, H4 time frame. So these are the major time frame we do use. Either as a scalper, as a string trader, or any type of trader you are. These are the time frame we do use. Influence structure, influence structure. So these are the things that we do uh, teach student on how to understand them. Now, let's take for example, this is monthly time frame that we are. Now, first thing you have to note on this monthly time frame, you note your range high, your range high, which is this high here, as your highest high. Then you note your range low as your lowest low, which is this last low here. This is your range. Now, after noting these two things, now you note where you have the last area of break of structure. Where you have what last area of break of structure on this time frame. Yeah, this is where you have what a break of structure to the downside. So since you have a break of structure to the downside here, this become order flow of this pair on this time frame is downtrend. Order flow of this pair on this time frame is what we call downtrend. Other flow of this pair on this time frame is what downtrend. So you note your what the last low. So this is your range. Then you note your what your last lower low. Now this is your range. This is your range on other flow. Now after noting this as your main range, that means we are on downtrend. Here is where we have what a break of what structure. Monthly break of structure. So you note it. You denote it as side of your what chart as what M M is equals to what DT that is downtrend. M is equals to what DT that is downtrend. So the order flow on this time frame is what downtrend. So order flow on this time frame is what downtrend. This is what. Now, this is on this monthly on this monthly time frame. Now you can like do something like this. Uh, there is the certain you change the certain there is the change, certain visibility that it will only appear on monthly time frame. This will only appear on monthly time frame. Everything you drew here will only appear on this monthly time frame. Visibility only on monthly time frame. Everything. Or you can just select all if possible. Let's see if there will be any sign of okay, that here. So if not, you can select all. You use that to what you know it's only on monthly time frame. It will be visible on only on monthly time frame. You see, which is the one. This time frame. So you understand where you are on this time frame. You understand where you are on this time frame that you are what bearish on this very time frame, this monthly time frame. So this time frame, this is what we control lower time frame. This is, this is what we control lower time frame. 
higher time frame have power over any time frame below it. Let's say, for example, this monthly time frame, it has power over any time frame at all that is what below this time frame. So this shows that on this time frame, we are what completely bearish. We are completely bearish on monthly time frame. Now we go back to daily on, on weekly. On weekly, now on this daily, same daily, we have what we call internal structure. We have what we call internal structure. Now your first question is where do we have a minor breakout structure on this time frame? Now when market was giving us a lower high, they give us what a strong high. So this would have been a, a little internal structure that is within the zone. This lower and lower high. But this is a strong high. We are not expecting market not to rate this very high again. So that means the structure within this zone is not this. Lower low, a lower high within the internal structure of this. So now where we have minor break of structure here is this. This will have what? A minor break of structure. Higher, 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 higher. Okay. So this is where we have what? A minor break of structure to the downside. So when we have this minor break of structure, you can denote that area as what? Your minor break of what structure. You can denote that area as what? Your minor break of structure. So after denoting this, your minor break of structure, you can what? Note your lower low. You can watch, note your lower low with different color. The lower low was from there, a lower high, a lower low in terms of structure, a lower high. Then we have a lower low here, a lower high. So if you use this to denote it here, lower low, lower high, lower low, a lower high, a lower low, a lower high, then a lo the lowest low, the lowest low. So if you bring it out, this shows that you are completely on downtrend in terms of this internal structure. Completely what on downtrend. So this shows that now the internal structure range area that we have last internal structure break is here. Is this very area. Is this very area so if this very area is your internal structure break now we can go to downtrend so within this last structure break that means from this area to this recent high is where we are what looking at to continue the what internal structure to the downside i don't know if you are getting my point so that means this area from this low to this high is where we are looking to continue the the down structure to create at least first liquidity price we need to take in future because this multi time frame anything that is happening here this thing that we're expecting now this can happen more than 10 years so before market can come and take that high it can it can be more than 20 years even your entire life of trading that thing might not happen so that means you are completely on, on bearish move now after that now you go to your weekly now to define your what order flow now on this weekly this is where we have our last low Last low, last high. So this shows that we are completely bearish on this weekly time frame. This shows that we are completely bearish on this weekly time frame. So if you are completely bearish, if you are completely what bearish, now you understand firstly that here. Within this internal structure, you have something like this. A lower high. Now, according to our idea of structure, now here, one market was given this corrective wave. This little corrective wave to the upside here. One market was given all that. It gave us a sign that it will give us corrective wave to the upside. It gave us a minor BMS. A minor break of structure here. So after this minor break of structure we have here to the upside, then now it's ready to what, go to primary point of interest or internal structure condition, which it did what? The primary point of what? Interest. Which it, it did what? The primary point of interest. Now, before selling. Now, here, now you note this. 
here we have a higher high higher, higher low as range structure higher high, higher low higher high, high now a lower low was created now if you look closely here a higher high look at it let me use this to denote it higher high higher low a higher high was formed then a lower low was formed that is a short bms here was formed so after a short bms was formed here on let's say on daily time frame but well, we are not going there so a little downtrend was formed here the market gives us what a lower high then a lower low a lower high a lower low then a higher high to the outside a bms so that means here is a higher high our re higher high then here is our lower low it used the word secondary level it used the secondary level that means the high of this last high to give us this buy which is what our secondary zone to give us this buy i made a higher high so after making a higher high it created look at this higher high was formed higher high was formed it created what we call a rally based rally now rally based rally is completely a supply and demand supply and demand now but well, this rally based rally this now after this this area we had here it created what a range structure now this range structure you notice it did not go back into this zone it did not come down into this zone to pick liquidity to create a higher high that means our last area of structural range is still the same this low that means the last area where market pick liquidity inside the range or in this level is this area liquidity graph characteristics of major liquidity that means this is our still our lower low why what market from here this higher high we use a different color higher low a higher high a higher low a higher high a higher low a higher high a higher low a higher high is what we call a range structure is what we call a range structure so after market break this range structure now we expect market now to give us what a little minor bms at point of interest the market gave us what a minor bms a minor bms then create the first liquidity market need to take then go went back to the what the very point of interest on lower time frame then give us what a sell again give us a continuation of sell and if you notice market came into what at least the high of this former high before giving us this buy before giving us this little buy so after that now we we start creating a lower low a lower low a lower high a lower low a lower high a lower low a lower high now you can see how market is using the internal structure to continue the internal structure to continue so lower low lower high lower low lower high you see how market is using the internal structure to continue the structure to the downside to continue the structure to the downside now this is the pure understanding of structure plus liquidity so you understand how market is using the internal structure you see the one that we are talking about support tone resistance how market is using the word support tone resistance then it becomes liquidity that is unmitigated the market rate that very little high then run back into the point of interest here then continue selling then what continue selling then continue selling so this shows that now around this area where we have a a minor break of structure this is first mbus this is first m mbus here as a restructured bms now we have our structure bms here that's the where market give the deep pullback based on this on this pair bms around this area bms around this area so now this has shown us that we are completely bearish this has shown us that we are completely bearish this has shown us that we are completely bearish now if this has shown us that we are completely bearish this will have a minor break structure here so that means this low okay let me use this big one that means this low to this lower high and this lower low to this lower high can serve as what liquidity 
That means they can serve as what? Liquidity. Then our next area of internal structural continuation can be here, where we can look for point of interest to what continue selling can be here. So this will become what our area of what concentration. This will become our what our area of what concentration. Since market has what broken this one here, so that means this one is now BMS. That means this area is now what a minor BMS for market to what create a higher high than before continuation of the sale. This shows that weekly weekly order flow weekly order flow. Weekly time frame order flow is what is still what on downtrend or bearish, bearish what order flow, bearish what move is still what on downtrend. So you denote this on this your weekly time frame. On this your what weekly time frame. So if this is your your weekly time frame, so you understand all this. You have to what, get the full idea of all this. Have to get the full idea of what is now. After you have understand this, now note your odd SC. Your SC is the last candle above a high. That means this last one, this white candle here, is your SC, not the black one. There's nothing like a, a refined order block or refined SC. No, we don't do that. If you want to refine, you can only refine it in terms of liquidity, which will be what going into. So we don't refine what is swing high S if you try to use smaller candle around this area market can decide to eat your stop loss and fully your watch your bias then that's not longer a bias any longer so that is that now we go to what daily we go to daily we go to what daily on this daily time frame on this daily time frame you understand that after a BMS of this high, you understand that on this lower time frame, where market gives us a little H4 structural break. Now you understand what we call time frame difference, where we are using time frame difference. We did not include H1. We included from monthly to H4. We did not include H1 for order flow understanding. Note what I'm saying. For order flow understanding. Now, when we are talking about structure, we say something about this, a failed high. Look at that, the same type of move. It creates a lower high, a lower low, a, low, a lower high, again, give a failed high. So that means this low is what we call inducement. So we talk more about that. We talk more about that. So it use it now after, once it read this low on lower time frame, based on the time frame of how we, we do consider uh, inducement, how as we are learning it, it will give us what we call uh, schematic or Wyckoff schematic. So once it gives that word, Wyckoff accumulation on that time frame, it might not break, boom, it start flying. And mostly it don't give, after that little minor break, it give one entry or two. It won't give you any entry again until it appear on this time frame. Boom. So if you miss it, if you're not able to, there are some moves that don't give arrow to you, if you notice that. So, that is that. Now, you understand that here we have a break of structure to the upside. Within this formal range. So here is our higher high within this formal range. So within this formal range, this means that this area is our main internal structure. But we have another internal structure that is above it. Higher high, higher low. A higher high, a higher low. Now, this is where market induced liquidity. Give the last pullback. So you must understand all this. This is where market gave the last pullback. Here, this higher high, higher low that you're seeing here, it would use the internal structure to continue it. H4 internal structure to continue to the upside. Pretty higher, higher, low, higher, higher. Till you get to a point of interest on lower time frame. We talk about that, how to expect what a deep corrective wave and a shallow corrective wave. So when market will give all this type of move, there must be a zone that would hold price before giving all this type of move. So after that, now market now came back into all this zone to what clear all those liquidity, to clear all those liquidity. To clear all those liquidity. Here, market gives us what we call SMS. 
So when you see SMS move, you must what differentiate SMS move from a stop hunt move. Now, market give us what we call a, an SMS move before breaking structure. SMS always from before breaking structure. Let's take, for example, market is on downtrend. Lower low, lower high, lower low, a lower high, a lower low, a lower high, a lower low, a lower high, then a lower low. before breaking structure. So it form an SMS here, shift of structure, shift of structure here, before breaking structure. Before breaking structure to the upside. So this is what we call an SMS, and that is what market formed here. That is what market formed here around this area. So market used now the SE, of the second leg of the word SMS leg to give us this buy move on this time frame. To give us what this buy move on this time frame. So after that, now it broke structure. So this is how you what you define your range. This is how you what you define your range in terms of order flow and time frame difference. So time frame difference is basically used to understand what price is doing on each time frame. On this daily time, on this daily time frame. This has shown us that we are what bearish order flow. Daily time frame is what bullish. That means uptrend. You write up T by uptrend or bearish um, bullish order flow. Uptrend is uh, is bullish. Downtrend is bearish. So you can use anything anything like uh, bearish order flow or bullish order flow or daily uh, um, uptrend or downtrend. Daily uptrend, daily downtrend. So you can use any one you like. So all are what correct. So that is that. Now it gives us what a minor repression. So this will give you a boost on how to what define your range. This will give you what a boost on how to define your what your range. This will give you what a boost on how to what define your range. So you must understand what market is doing on each time frame before you what you before you what de define your what order flow before you what define your order flow so you notice after market read this very low this last low here and that monthly low that that was when it gave us what a hit for break of structure now let's go to the recent low Let's go to the recent low, which is here. Now you understand around this area, market was creating a kind of a downtrend, downtrend move, downtrend down. There's a model that we'll be using to be following this type of trend. Because if you notice, they're not giving the deep pressure wave. So after that, lower, low, lower, low, lower, lower, low, till it gives us what a shift of structure here and a violation of, of, of structure here on this time frame. On this time frame. So now if you notice, this is our last low here. Uh, lower low, lower high. So till it broke this high on this time frame, you are still what bearish. Till it broke this high. So after it broke this high, it gave us what that same field high. It gave us a, a higher high, a higher low, then a lower high, a lower low. Boom. Once it takes this low, it will give us what is schematic on lower time frame on how we do read it. Boom, because you already know once you take this low, since it's on this hit four, that means it will not be more than two days to fly. Boom, then you join. You already know your SC for the internal structure continuation. Boom, you will join the trend. Tell as a swing trader, tell you are what tired. Tell you are tired. Now, the, 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 what, the use of order flow is basically used to define your what the range. Now, if monthly and daily and uh, weekly is bearish, that means that market will last long. That means that market will last long. But if monthly is bearish, daily is uh, weekly is bullish, that means we are going into consolidation and there will be soon be what a reversal. Now, if monthly is weekly is bearish, daily is bearish, that means that trend 
will last long. Now, if daily is bullish, hateful is bullish, that means that trend will last long based on their time frame. It will last long based on their time frame. If daily is bullish, hateful is bearish. Hateful is bearish. That means that that downtrend that was happening on that day on that day on that day time frame will soon go into consolidation and there will soon be what the reversal. So as you are calculating all this, then you what you place them into structure. They understand your structural range where market will easily give us a buy move and where market will easily give us what a sell move. Then you will understand the reason why market is being so so or uh, that anything that market is doing you can use that to define the range. You can use that to define the range. So on this time frame, on this H4, on this H4, based on structure, from here, on this H4, we have we have bearish before. We are what bearish before. Market will give us a low and low high, low and low high, low and low high, low and low high. You notice how market is taking liquidity within those structural range. Now here, this is where we have a minor break of structure. Then this high will be liquidity. You will notice how market is reading them. Primary inducement and internal inducement. And so, and we think about all, we teach about all in our next class. So we finish everything about inducement in our next class. So we can go into model, model and uh, and point of interest. So after that model and point of interest, then the remaining is sort of called wake off. After that wake off, then you can work on your psychology. And I told you guys before, so you're supposed to be working on your psychology for now. So that is that we have a minor structure, internal inducement. That is a primary inducement. The market gives us a lower low continuation of the structure to the downside. The same process, the same process till market became tired till market become what tired same thing lower low, lower high primary inducement and all so you have to what, understand it where you have the primary inducement and all so anything that you don't understand just be what patient you what you be understanding them fully so the same process go and you will also understand the leg that market is using to create liquidity let's say for example here you have a bms to the downside you already know market is not yet done for the sale. Market is not yet done. They create a lower high. Here, this imbalance on lower time frame, there's internal structure or model that is being formed here that we use to create this, this high as liquidity. It first uses the word create liquidity, a lower high, a, a now a lower high. It gives us a minor break of structure. On lower time frame, boom, at a little point of interest for a reversal move, boom, it gives us a what a shallow what. A, what a deep creative wave so this become a shallow creative wave and a deep creative wave so it become what a complex structure it become what we call a complex structure so this is how you would you work with your structure and understand what market is doing on each time frame you understand what market is doing on each time frame and look at this cell i was expecting it here it's quite it's, when you when we started this meeting you saw that and where we are marking out it's quite simple so you have to understand what market is doing and all it's quite what simple. You're just I don't read it, so I, I won't enter. But I already know that it will sell once you get to this level and all. So you saw when I marked that for those that joined the time before we started. So you saw when I marked that. So boom, it flew to the downside. It flew to the downside. Tell what it take out this low. That's your first DP. So those are the things you understand your structure perfectly on each time frame. And we have to continue the, the trend, even without giving any main structure, any break. Any, make, any major word break of structure. Because for those people that are trading lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, or normal only this idea, when market give you BMS, before they join, market is almost done of what it's doing. Market is almost done. So people that are waiting for now a re-BMS based on this time frame. Now, before market give them their hope, if those people that understand structure properly, before market give them their hope, which is here, Market is already done. So before it gives retracement around this zone, it might give it around this area for giving this retracement. So 
that is just how you can what you follow your structure. That's how you what, you follow your structure. That is all for today. So today, what we did is measure what we call time frame difference and combining structure and your what, inducement. So take care. Good luck. Good trading.